Let's make this gear animation. First, select the main gear. Add a keyframe at the beginning. Then go to the last frame. Rotate the gear 360 degrees and add another keyframe. Select both keyframes and change the interpolation to linear so it rotates at a constant speed. Now, select the next gear, go to the constraint tab and add a transformation constraint. Choose the main gear as the target. In the map from right pointing arrow rotation section, set the Z max to 360. Then, in the map to right pointing arrow rotation section, also set the Z axis max value to 360. You'll notice the gear rotates, but in the wrong direction. To fix this, change the z-axis value to minus 360. There's another issue. The gear stops rotating after a few frames. To prevent this, simply enable extrapolate. Repeat the same process for the next gear. Now, let's take a smaller gear. This one is half the size of the main gear. Using the same settings will make it rotate too slowly. Since it's half the size, Change the max value to 180, so it spins correctly. Finally, we have a vertical gear. With the same settings, it rotates on the wrong axis. To fix this, switch the rotation to the Y axis. Set Y to 360, and change the axis to Z so it matches perfectly. And that's how you can animate gears using the transformation constraint in Blender.